I don't know about your states and your countries, but I'm back in business, baby. What is up, YouTube? I am back. I am back. I am the Aussie VHS Thripter, aka the Michael Jordan of VHS, aka the Friendly Neighborhood Thrifter, aka the Trolls Bitch, aka Robbie Hollywood, aka whatever the fuck you want to call me because I'm a fucking nobody. I am back, baby, and I am here to fucking pleasure you. I'm pleasuring you in every single little way. And did I get a good fucking haul from this thrift? <laughs> There's only one thing I can say, so let's do this! Let's do it! Come on! Let's show the show and tell thrifting haul, baby! Oh. This was a wicked thrift because I was not expecting to be so much stuff there. I was not expecting that I had a good Sammy's card that on the 10th visit I got 50% off so my $90 came to 45 bucks. $45. I would have grabbed more shit if I knew I was getting everything half price. Now mind you, I spent $27.50 for items to sell. The rest of the money, which was about $15-ish, was all on stuff for myself, which was footy cards. But I do want to actually quickly show you, I know you don't want to see footy cards, but I fucking snagged up something awesome. So you would have seen from my ride along, I got all these uh, footy, footy card albums. Ah! And these ones too. Um, they were six bucks, two dollars, six dollars, five dollars, three dollars, but remember they're all half price. These are all full of good cards, all full of fucking heaps and heaps of awesome cards. These are not to resell at the moment, so they're not going in the kitty, and the total is not coming off the uh, uh, what I spent, because I'm probably going to keep a lot of these for myself. But what was awesome was I uh, put these in uh, little uh, protectors here, and uh, there was some Fremantle Dockers hand-signed um, cards in there. So someone has gone down to training and got signatures from uh, football players. There's a Matthew Pavlich, Matthew Pavlich hand signed. We've got we've got a Paul Duffield. We've got my boy Ryan Crowley. The pest. And we also got a Fifey hand signed. Hand signed Fifey. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful fucking card right there. So anyway, I don't know what I can fetch for all these, but uh, I am keeping them for my own collection because that is the team that I go for. Let's get through the hall. There's footy cards everywhere in this fucking place. First thing I picked up was this uh, Gears of War 4 uh, book. Uh, this is the collector's edition uh, guideline. This was sealed, this was $6, so I got it for three because everything was 50% off. Sealed, there's two books in there. Looks like there's some type of dog chain in there, something like that. Anyway, I was looking that up. Game On Couple will probably be able to help me with this one. Uh, it looks like it's a 50 to 60, maybe $70 book originally when it came out. Um, on comps, it's only looking like about $30, so I'm just going to put $30 in the kitty and I'm not going to be greedy. But I'm actually going to price it at about $60, $70 because I think it will go for that. So I've got to ask Game from Craig, uh, Craig from Game On Couple uh, his opinion, but um, it's still brand new and sealed and someone might want the Gears of War uh, dog tag, but it um, might, might be worthless, it might not be, but they're selling for about $30, uh, I think, used. So um, this is brand new, so we think I'm thinking about 60 but I'm going to put 30 in the kitty for it, just 30 in the kitty. I've got two items of clothing, uh, this was $2.50 instead of $5. This is a, an official World Cup 1994, so it was made in 1991, but it's an official uh, World Cup 1994, um, USA, USA Soccer, USA Soccer. Um, a lot are listed pretty high, um, so look, I think I can get 100 bucks plus for this. I'm guaranteeing I'll get 100 bucks plus for this, and so that's, that's pretty sweet. 1991, this is vintage as fuck, World Cup, soccer. So I'm going to put 100 bucks in the kitty for this, so I'm not going to take anything less. I reckon I can get about 150, which that's what I'll put it up at, uh, but we'll see. 
you never know. Uh, you just, you just, you just never know. A kitty fucking knows, mate. All right, I'll stoke with this one. Now, this was hard to look up. I know this will go. I know this will go for about 60 bucks. So I'm gonna put 60 bucks in the kitty. This was meant to be $8 and I got it for $4. This is an absolute beautiful, nice, thick, official MBA. An official MBA. Um, now, is this a jacket or is this a, is this, what do they call it? A pullover or a cardigan or what the fuck do they call it? I don't know what they call it, but this is a Detroit Pistons official MBA uh, jumper. We call it a jumper in Australia. Make sure there's no fucking drugs in the pockets. I know a lot of the boys have been getting fucking, uh, finding drugs in pockets and stuff lately. So no drugs in the pockets. Uh, I'll definitely get uh, 60 plus for this. This is really nice. This is a medium. And it uh, looks like it'd probably be an extra large in Australia. Uh, if anyone, uh, this will go more than 60 bucks, hit me up. Because this is a very, very nice Detroit Pistons uh, jumper. Nearly considering keeping it for myself. But I don't go for that fucking team. Fuck them. I'm not fucking keeping it. I'm going to sell it and take the money and buy some Pelican shit, man. So 60 bucks for the kitty right there. So there was, as you saw in the ride along, go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. There was absolutely shitloads of uh, DVDs, shitload of uh, not many games, and a shitload of uh, CDs. So anyway, the CDs were meant to be 50 cents each. Um, so with my half price, I got them for 25 cents each. I got an absolute shit ton of CDs. Let me go through these quickly with you, and this is gonna be quicker than the videos last week, okay? Because I don't wanna bore you, man. First of all, unfortunately, there was two CDs, because I got a shitload of them that weren't worth anything. Uh, this was only worth five bucks, I'm not gonna bother selling it. Um, Eric Clapton Unplugged, I will keep that for myself to listen to in the car, because uh, I enjoyed that uh, CD. And then this one as well, Trolls, which was uh, sealed, and I was very happy that I found it uh, sealed. But uh, as you see in the bottom corner there, it's, uh, it's all cracked. Uh, it's not worth anything really. So, and I know it's just a cracked cover and the CD's still good, but uh, I'll give it to my niece and she can have that um, and listen to Trolls and annoy my mate in the car and listen to the shit out of Trolls all the time. That'll be good. So, out of all the CDs, I've got all these uh, John Farnham CDs here. Uh, John Farnham, if you don't know John Farnham, um, uh, if you're from America or uh, uh, England or anywhere else watching in the world, uh, John Farnham is the guy that um, basically retires and comes back a hundred times. Uh, every time is his last time. Anyway, these John Farnham CDs, I've got eight there. I'll lot them up. I'll definitely get $40 for them. Easy, every day of the week. 40 bucks for all those John Farnham CDs. Piece of piss. I went through and looked up every single CD. Uh, all these CDs here. They'll get $10 each, easy, plus they'll pay their own shipping. $10 each, easy, by uh, undercutting. There's a few of them that have been selling for about eight bucks, but that's okay, that's not a big deal. I'll still put them at $10. I'll quickly show you them all, you wanna see them all? Why not, I see them all. You got John Lennon, In Excess, Listen Like Thieves, good fucking album right there. UB40 album, so these are all $10. Don't forget, that's Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, two discs in that one, Jimi Hendrix, blues album. I didn't look any of these up. I didn't look any of these up. I just took a risk at 50 cents each. They ended up being 25 cents each and I wish I brought more because they will sell for $10 each. Uh, more than a game, the footy album. Almost famous soundtrack that will sell fast at $10. Beatles number one hits that will sell fast at $10. Joe Satriani surfing with an alien that will sell fast at $10. God damn it, someone wrote their fucking name on it. The Flipper Curse. It's the Flipper Curse. Robert Plant. That will sell fast for ten dollars. God damn it, Woodley! Wrote his fucking name on it again. The fucking flipper curse, man. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, the dance is a fucking good album. That will sell fast. And MC Hammer, you saw me have that in the car. It was really shit. Uh, that will sell for ten dollars really slowly. Okay, then we got three CDs. Three CDs at fifteen dollars each. So there's forty-five bucks in the kitty right there from seventy-five cents. Show you these ones. The Verb. The Verb Remix, I've sold this before for fucking $25 because it was a six disc set, but this is only two disc. Uh, yep, no, one disc, two disc, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go for 15 bucks. Some prick will fucking buy it. Uh, Woman in Red, that should sell for about $15 as well. I know some have gone uh, uh, lower, but it is Stevie Wonder, and this is the original one that came out um, when it got released as well. So it's got the original sticker on the back and all that from the... Uh, the 90s or 80s? 1984. There you go. 1984. Considering keeping this? Considering keeping this? 
But Jive Bunny and the Mega Mixers, I fucking love Jive Bunny and the Mega Mixers. You know this. I love Jive Bunny and the Mega Mix. Love Jive Bunny. 15 bucks I'll get for this. I might not uh, put it up straight away. I might annoy the shit out of Kelly and play it over and over and over again until she fucking lists it because I like this. We've got the vinyl and uh, actually, the, I think the vinyl got hidden from me. Anyway, uh, they were $15 each for these uh, three right now. I tried listening to this one in the uh, car. Got two here that are going to be going for $20 each. So there's 40 bucks for the kitty right there. That's 25 cents, 25 cents. Turned into fucking $40. Uh, so Chris Christopherson, uh, a country uh, collection. I tried listening to it in the uh, car. Oh my god, it's bad. But people buy it. People love it. They want. They want Chris. They want Chris. They want Chris. And this Robert Plant, um, strange sensation. It looks fucking really cool. I knew when I seen it, it was a uh, pretty cool, different CD. But a lot of people got this listed for like fifty, sixty dollars. Um, but the reality is, it's only been selling for about twenty bucks or twenty five dollars. So I only put twenty dollars in the kitty for that one, and uh, we'll get a quick flip on that. So twenty five cents into twenty bucks. Thank you very much. Let me go get some McDonald's with that. Now this is new and sealed. This is a BCD. This is a VCD uh, Tigerland. Um, I could get about $20 for this. I have sold a few VCDs lately. Uh, the Matrix, I sold the three Matrix movies on VCD for $45, I think it was. Um, this is Tigerland, two discs. It's uh, sealed. I don't know. I'm thinking 20 bucks for the kitty. It's sealed, it's a VCD. Why not? 20 bucks for the kitty. Kitty doesn't lie. All right, we're trying to move through it fast today. We're trying to move through it fast. We're trying to move through it fast. So the DVDs were meant to be a dollar each. I've got them for 50 cents each. Um, these these four will be $10 each uh, by comps. Um, unfortunately, this I thought it would go for more. This Michael Jordan DVD with all the Michael Jordan shit happening at the moment. Only $10. That's fine. Best of the other AFL DVD. That will sell pretty quick because a lot of my AFL stuff has been selling quick. Um, I've even been uh, now overpricing my uh, AFL DVDs by a couple of bucks over people and because of my ratings on my store my stuff has been selling before the people with uh, lower prices which is pretty cool so this will sell pretty fast for me might even watch that uh, Kindergarten Cop um, number one brand new and sealed uh, don't want to get ten dollars as well why did I say Kinder Cop number one didn't you know there's a Kindergarten Cop 2 Dolph Lundgren it's horrible it's bad! Yes, that is shit. Don't ever watch it. Kindergarten Cup 1. Uh, 10 bucks. Disappointing with this. Didn't realise on comps that fucking everyone's got a list that's so cheap now. Um, I think I sold this one for $40 uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, before the WWE Network put this on their network. Um, it was a rare Australian Melbourne um, pay-per-view that they did. Um, it was going for a lot of money. Everyone was selling this a lot. Now it's only worth 10 bucks, but 50 cents into 10 bucks, who cares? These two DVDs I should get $15 each for. I've got a uh, surfing, uh, surfing one. Surfing ones go good, 15 bucks there. And this DuckTales one should go for about 15 bucks. Someone's got listed for about 25, so I'm undercutting them by 10 bucks. Woohoo! And to cut them by a bit, but uh, there's none on sold, so I might even put it for a little bit more, but reality is $15 for that one. And um, I'm probably going to watch it because um, DuckTales is fucking awesome. Uh, I took a punt on this one, Adventures in Odyssey. Uh, someone sold a big massive lot of them for like 100 bucks or some shit, and this one looks like I can get about $20 for, so... Uh, 20 bucks for um, Adventures in Odyssey. Good from 50, uh, 50 cents. And <laughs> it looks shit too. Fucking crap. Why would you even fucking want to watch that shit? Oh no. Now, what would anyone do in this situation? A disc sounds loose in this. But it's new and sealed, so... I don't know what to do. Uh, this could be really expensive um, if it sells. Uh, the machine, the machinery's handbook guide. Someone's got uh, the 26th edition for sale for 60 bucks. Um, I honestly think I can get about 50 bucks for this. Um, it's basically a whole fucking book in a DVD ROM. Why would you want to read a book when you can just go click on something? You can just click on something. Fucking makes life easier, doesn't it? So 50 bucks in the kitty for that. Uh, just what would you do in that situation with the loose disc in there and it's wrapped? Just tell me in the comments, please, because uh, I've never had a loose disc in a uh, wrapped one before. Okay, only a couple more things. Uh, I've got three games here. 
Uh, of course, these were uh, 50 cents each um, after my half price deal. I only get $10 each for these. So we've got uh, PlayStation 3, Raw vs SmackDown 2009. What you gonna do, brother? Uh, we got SmackDown vs Raw on PlayStation 2. Let me just check behind me and see if I already own this because I might have to keep it. In the collection it goes. I have to take 10 bucks out of my kitty there. Uh, I altered the kitty. I took 10 bucks out because I'm keeping that bastard. Uh, and uh, this PC game, Orcs Must Die, I'll get $10 for that as well. Two more things. This Wii game was 50 cents. And then this bastard. Oh my god, this is going to be heavier than fucking... Instructions are in there. There's a fucking... Even got a fucking cover over it. Fuck, people are dumbasses giving away their shit. Alright. So we got this Wii Fit in the box. Wii Fit in the box, instructions in there. I'll give away the Wii Fit uh, game as well. Um, they'll pay for their own postage, of course. This one looks like I can get about $60 to $70 for uh, going by comms in the box. Um, I paid five, no, it was meant to be $5, so I paid $2.50 for this, 50 cents for this, $3 right here, three bucks into $60. Thank you very much. Then the last thing, the last thing is this 19... What, what year was this, mate? 1992 Risk. Now, bastards fucking wrote on there with bloody uh, Sharpie. $4, so it was $2 in the end. Now, comps is showing all over the place with this one. Uh, because uh, there's not much vintage ones out there and then blah, blah, blah. So, I'm looking at about $50 at the moment. From what I'm seeing, $50. Could be worth more. They're going to pay their own shipping. Fuck them. But um, it could be worth more. Um, I'm not 100% sure. So we're only going to put uh, $50 in the kitty. But I'm not taking anything less than $50 for this. Uh, Parker Brothers, fucking game. Risk. Me and Kelly are going to give this a crack tonight. We're going to count all the pieces. And we're going to see if it's all in there. And um, and yeah, that's it's fucking... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty fucking sweet, that is. So, that is everything I got. That was $27.50 I spent because I didn't put in the kitty. I didn't put in the, uh, I didn't put in the total, the, uh, AFL cards because I'm not selling them. Okay? Oh, okay. I can smell the money. I can smell the money. Bring up the kitty. <laughs> kitty, let's not beat around the bush. Let's eat around the bush. Kitty. What are we going to get before the fees, before the taxes, and before that other mumbo jumbo bullshit right there? Meow meow kitty, what are we going to get? $735. $735. Once it all sells, once it all sells, once they pay for their shipping, once they pay for their fees, oh no, don't you worry about all that. We're getting $735. Kitty. Fuck off. Fuck off, kitty, you dirty, dirty kitty. We know what they said about you last week, kitty. We heard what that lady said about you. Get out of here, kitty. Alrighty. Alrighty. That was a good thrift. That was a good haul. I tried to get it done faster, but I know it's probably still going to be a long video. I'm sorry about this. This is what happens because I talk too much. I don't fucking stop talking. Quick shout out before I go. I haven't done this. So I don't want to show my address. I haven't done this yet. Um, we're going to do this soon. Uh, shout out to uh, Thrift Beast. Thrift Beast has sent me a box. A box of Canadian munchies from other countries. So me and Kelly are going to do uh, munchies from other countries and eat some Canadian, some Canadian food. So thanks, Chris. We'll get that open soon. Uh, as soon as we get a chance to eat these munchies and film it. Alright guys, don't forget to check out Worldwide Reselling every Sunday night. You know all the boys, all the boys are up there. Do not miss out on the... Don't miss out on the four sausages. Don't miss out on uh, World of Reselling. It's, it's just a fucking good show on Sundays. Don't forget, subscribe, like to me, all Australian uh, content out there, give everyone a thumbs up, give this a thumbs up, or oh, you know what, you can do what the fuck you want, it's your life, you can sit back and you can do whatever you want, because no one can tell you what to do, it's up to you. That's it from me guys, I think uh, I've said all I need to say, oh except for uh, Diary of a Flipper, you son of a bitch, you fucking, you found, you figured out what I was going to do, that it wasn't an op shop, it was a salvage yard, and I didn't get that clamshell. God damn it, now I've still got to find that clamshell horror. I was this close. I, I tried, I tried 
everything I could, but you rang up the shop. You rang up the shop, man. It was still fucking horror. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want. I'll be back hopefully for another ride along next week because my thrift stores are open. Are yours? See you!